Hi there, I'm Darren Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to uh, put a menu bar on a WX Form Builder frame. This is what the frame looks like at the moment. It's just blank, it's got a title and it has a panel as you can see here. Okay, so I'll just close that. Now, the menu bar is attached to the frame. Okay, it doesn't attach to any to a sizer or a panel. It attaches to the frame and it becomes part of the frame. What we need to do here is you got various tabs here and you've got one here called menu or and toolbar. So here's your menu items or objects, there's a status bar and then you've got toolbars. Okay, so we're going to focus on menus. Okay, so we need to highlight the frame so that it's active. That is the, the item that we want to attach the menu bar to. And then what we do is we hover here, we've got menu bar so now we have a menu bar but we need to change the name okay so if we go to properties you'll see you have a name okay so I'll delete that and go menu bar main and this doesn't I don't think this shows, no it doesn't show up, main there also, okay for the label, you won't see the label for a menu bar, and as you can see, this here, you notice that it's dropped down, you have a section here that tells us that your menu bar has now been attached to the frame. So, the next thing we want to do is add a menu. Okay, so we go to menu, WX menu, click that. Okay, and then what we do is, it's atta now attached to the menu bar. We activate menu, the first menu, menu 1, and we want to change the properties or the name. So if we go to properties, and I'll give it the name menu file and then the label you notice here it's my menu and then when you see the uh, the display of what we're designing we got my menu okay so just make that a little bit longer like that okay back in the properties so in here I'll just type file and there we go we have a file Right, and we can copy that, click the menu bar, paste that, and it's put a one because the the program WX Form Builder goes, oh, there's already a menu file, so I'll put a one on it. In there we'll go edit in the properties, give it edit, and then we change the label, we call it edit. You click up here and then you'll see in the design mode here that we've got edit. So click menu bar to make it active, do a paste, we've got a file one again, then we go to the properties, we've got menu and we go help and help. Click there. Now, if we look in the design mode, design mode, designer mode, we now have file edit and help. So the next thing we want to do is add a menu item. Okay, so we click file so that that's so it's active. We're in the menu toolbar tab, and we go to menu item. Click that. 
Okay, and we go into the properties, and it's a menu item. I put file, so no, it's part of the file. It's a menu item in file, and then I'll go new label. It's new shortcut control plus capital N okay and now we go to events to give it an event and double click on menu selection and here we go menu item menu uh, menu item file new and that's on the menu selection so now we've created an event then you can copy that reason why we're copying that is because it's already got changes in it like here it's file over in the properties the name is menu item file and the next one will put create open and we just changed you the shortcut the label in the event so we click menu file paste that okay and then we go back here to the menu name we go file open click that open O for open then we go into the event as you can see the event doesn't change it's still file new double click it now it's file open okay so now if we click file on here there we go we got new we got open okay so I'll just pause the video and then I'll add a few more items okay so we're back again so I click here file and we got new open save save as exit now if I go up here to the WX form builder menu you notice that there's a line save as and you got a line there and a line okay so the way you do that is what I want to do is put a line after save as okay so the way to do that the way to do that is I'll go to save as I activate that so I want to put a line after save as you know, create a separation between the uh, uh, document uh, menu items from the closing or the exiting of the application so here are the menu uh, widgets you could say yep and we have a separator so you go separator over here in the properties separator and what I tend to do here it doesn't do a thing there are no events or anything for that it's just a separator so I'll go file exit okay that means it's just above the file exit menu item okay so just click down here so the name changes I always remove that M underscore okay so that's it we got a separator there when you click down here we have a line we have a line that separates that okay so that's it for how to add the menu bar a menu then the menu items uh, in this case file we got menu item file new file open file save file save as save as I've got file save as join together and then here you got save space as three dots okay we got separator and the exit and these all have events 
and that will show in the code if you look at the code here the events have been they got a bind you bind event okay and there is your menu events and also the events here okay so that's how you add menus to your frame and now what you can do is do the same thing for edit and help add menu items okay that's it for this tutorial I hope that has been helpful if you have any questions or comments please leave them below this video on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with a response and maybe a tutorial that will answer your question. Uh, till the next tutorial, goodbye.